hello friend welcome to tech advice channel so basically in this video uh, i'll show you that uh, how can you create a um, new bucket uh, uh, in your cloud platform and uh, gcp platform basically so cloud storage how can you create a new bucket uh, all the process i'll show you in this video so if you are watching this video first time so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so uh, first of all uh, we have to go to our cloud platform uh, to create the new bucket so let's go to uh, our cloud platform so uh, friend uh, here is my uh, cloud platform basically uh, so uh, i already uh, have a cloud platform so where basically bi ad hoc is uh, uh, one of my project so in this project basically i'll create a new bucket so uh, basically uh, for uh, create new bucket so you have to open your uh, gcp console so here is my console i, as I already uh, open it so uh, first of all uh, basically mm, in, uh, we have to go navigation menu from the navigation menu basically we can see that cloud connect uh, cloud storage option i already uh, pinned it up here mm, but if you can if you uh, can find it in, is then is in the storage option so basically from there you can get it uh, st cloud storage option mm, so you just click on that mm, and then you can see that this type of panel uh, or this type of ui uh, videos so i'm i'm creating uh, this one in the bi ad hoc uh, project so basically let me create a new bucket just uh, click on the create uh, bucket option and then after that uh, it will take like uh, yeah it is open basically it will take a few seconds so here we have uh, like uh, there because uh, jcp already mentioned that how much uh, monthly cost will be as an estimation basically all about the estimation so if i select some uh, storage size or data uh, retrieval size or something like that then uh, it will it will show us that okay how much cost is uh, approximate basically per month so it will uh, show us uh, in the bottom section so you see here like, they mentioned everything here uh, so it's uh, showing that 2.6 uh, monthly cost mm, so so basically if i change this one is a 10 gigabyte and uh, then it will be like 0.26 uh, per month okay so uh, this one you can check it out like later you can know the details and you can go um, pricing details also so let me create a new bucket and show you that okay how can i create basically so here we have to give a unique name basically you can see a pickup uh, globally unique name uh, permanent name basically this one is will be like as a permanent name and which one should be a unique global name so i just create your um, like okay unicharm uh, yeah that's, uh, that's all uh, or underscore i can give something like that but okay uh, i think uh, i think i i, I think um, yeah i think i, I put uh, unicham only because it's a unicham uh, will be like um, unique so here I, I can put some level also if you want to give any level so i don't want to put any level here i just continue um, with this name so let me just to continue yep just continue yep so then here we have to select the location type basically so i recommended uh, if you are working for a particular region so you can just select that uh, particular region like uh, i select the, for this case like region i select the singapore region so basically and if you are working for multi-region so you can just select the multi-region so i select here for southeast uh, asia uh, one so based on the price list you can have a look like okay how much price list difference uh, in the price list basically how much pricing difference for the location wise so let me go to continue and uh, here i do this one at center and then next uh, uniform yeah access control is so a uniform one this one mm, okay okay then uh, production tools um, i just do the nine and uh, if you want to uh, use some productions then you can use uh, as per your requirement then just uh, i do the create I just click on create option yeah so that's all basically so uh, within a few seconds uh, it will create a new bucket mm, uh, and then it will show me the bucket yeah here it is go it's already created you see in uh, and its location is that uh, SUR southeast one and storage class also public uh, access not public access production none. so here's my uh, i can upload the files upload folder create folder etc uh, so here is my bucket basically um, uh, details you need to you see here if i can copy that's basically the bucket name uh, and if i go like uh, other details option so you can see that okay configuration that uh, what i did already so here all the details are present that uh, my uh, console your uh, 
consult uh, error as well as uh, my uh, gs utl uh, who those uh, who are using a cell script they can use this one their one and permission also here you can see that public access uh, access control if you want to add something you can add it and register you can see the policy here the and the life cycle basically i haven't set any life cycle so you can uh, set up your life cycle rules so uh, basically uh, here is a bucket uh, i have created already so next video i can show you that in the bucket how can you upload the folder or create folder or run can data pipeline uh, using this folder so that's all basically friend uh, so creating a folder in jcp uh, cloud um, uh, storage so so friend uh, if you like this video please uh, share this video like comment and subscribe my channel thank you friend for watching this video